following the building collapse, one resident is speaking out about her issues with her renter's insurance policy. News 8's Joe McCoy has more on her battle with her insurance company. Rental insurance is supposed to cover a fire, water damage, or another event that destroys your property. So you would think it would cover the entire building collapsing, right? Well, that's not the case for Linnea Hoover. I contacted the insurance company the night it happened. She was inside the building taking a nap when it collapsed. You contact your insurance company because they can help reimburse you for that when something like this happens, or that's what should happen. Her Geico Insurance saying they won't honor her rental coverage, which only covers $5,000 of personal expenses. We're not helping you with hotel. We're not helping you with clothing. We're not helping you with... Um, anything and we're denying your claim because it's on the building owner. This information, hard for her to comprehend. At this point, I'm basically like, what's insurance for? Like, why do you purchase expensive insurance, especially as a renter? And they're not going to do anything. I just don't understand it. Hoover has taken her claim to the Iowa Insurance Division, which will evaluate her insurance contract and determine if the decision and process made by GEICO is correct. The consumer understanding uh, of the actual policy that is purchased is really important. Jared Kirby is a deputy insurance commissioner for the Iowa Insurance Division. If the insurance company made a mistake, then we would re-engage them on uh, that error. However, if they're accurate, we would share with the consumer, hey, look at this section of your insurance policy. Here's what it specifically says. Another twist in this story that gets more frustrating for residents by the second. In Davenport, Joe McCoy, WQAD News 8. The Iowa Insurance Division is a governmental agency and its services are free.